Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is another December dance reading for the days, 8 and 9 December. So as always, I'll start with my Vera Sibila cards. La Vera Sibila, what would life be without them? I offer a course, modules, 15 lessons. You can find that on my website. You can purchase the course all together or individual lessons two at a time. And let's see what is going on or the messages that will be will emerge for these two days, eight and nine. Today is a national holiday in this country, in Italy. Wow, we've got some interesting things coming in today. Some very interesting positive changes. Okay, now. Also, remember I said there was a third party. I remember in the beginning when I started doing, there are three rows of five cards. There was a third party in the very beginning of the, I think it was the third and the fourth of December. And then as the days uh, moved on, I kept saying that from a negative situation, it will bring on to a positive. Well, first of all, I see uh, the positive changes already underway as we speak. We, <laughs> you and I. Then I have here, indeed, there's a male amante, l'amante, could be a female as well. And right next to that, as you see, the uh, nemica, the female enemy, the male, who could be a woman as well, is has turned his back on the uh, and your rival, okay? So that is coming to an end, and the nuptial dance is beginning, okay? Now, as a matter of fact, the lover, the man or woman has left the house, metaphorical house, with that third party, with that other person, the other man, the other woman. Now, we've got, listen, the highlight of the spread, the focus of the spread is um, leggerezza. It's a butterfly, and uh, typically this talks about, well, often it could be lightness of being, but here it is a sexual attraction. There is the virgin of the deck, la, la giovane fanciulla, right before that, and fedeltà, the dog, right after that. This speaks of a return because it's a new beginning, and it's mirroring the fedeltà. So you can only be fedeli, you can only be have fidelity for someone you already know. Okay. Now, this the uh, row begins with um, falsità, which is right under the viaggio. And perhaps there was some kind of negative mm, development with that other person, but uh, fatto sta, the truth of the matter is that since that ended, the communication will open up with you. Now, the last row is a very, you know, uh, heart-churning row because it talks about sadness. Sadness, why? This sadness card mirrors the nuptial dance, the intimacy card um, that talks about anything good. It could also be having to do with, with business this. But this is mirrored. These two cards mirror each other. And there is a tinge of sadness because coming to the point of being back with you or you being back with another person is that passionate attraction. But they are far apart. Okay, this is you are far apart in space and in heart. Unless I'm a poet and I don't know it. Now, another thing is that the uh, viaggio, which also means trip, actually traveling, mirrors the last card, the outgoing card, which is the artista, the artist, which could be a professional scientist and so forth. And um, what my uh, interpretation is that this person, man or woman, professional or non-professional scientist, it's a, a person who is nonetheless conspiring, thinking, planning, to move toward that passionate pull. Now, 
I have here a chevron, clearly, and the movement is toward a woman who seems to be, in the eyes of that person, a man or a woman, that is a protector, has always been a protector in, in your eyes. Um, and it is um, someone you already know and you would go back to because, or they will come back to you because of the card of the Fedelta. And there is a serious relationship in the, um, on the, the, the horizon for you both. Communication is going to, but you know, there's this card, the Dottore, which came out the other day, which is does talk about taking care. The person, either you or the other person, need to take care of that protector. Otherwise, there will be no protection in inverted commas, neither for you nor for anyone else. I'm going to take the um, the pictorial key tarot. It's called Tarot of the Pictorial Key, fashioned by Arthur Waite. Not that similar to the Rider Waite deck, but quite similar to the meanings. Singularly taken, singularly. But we all know that together, the uh, tarot and oracle cards sing a song that is greater than the sum of its individual parts. So you really need to read them in the context of the spread. Okay, I'm going to first highlight these lies, falsita. Ah, it's the end of a cycle. It's, it lies to, oh, oh, wow. Okay, so t bear in mind that there is the man or woman, woman or man, they could be uh, interchangeable. First of all, it's the end of a burdensome cycle. We get that with the Ten of Swords. Then we have this Queen of of Wands. Now, this could be the fire sign. This could be a fire sign for you or Nonetheless, it is a passion pull. Could be a male or female that you are uh, interacting with, or you yourself may be. And then there's this ten of pentacles. So this falsita here, indeed, is is uh, you know is is a moment of mea culpa, mea culpa. You know, you're saying you're th you're acknowledging your false deeds. You're, you're acknowledging the lies you may have um, led people to believe. And that is that. Now I'm going down here to the dispiacere, uh, the sadness, to see what that is all about. Oh, okay. I have here the high priest. Then I have the two of the blindfolded two of swords. And then the ace of cups. You know, we're taking a qualitative jump spiritually here or the other person toward you. And that jump is not easy business. That is... You know, first you start with the mea culpa, mea culpa. You have to, in, in Italian we say, you have to swallow many frogs, you know. You're going to swallow your pride when you do this. And and there is the artista there attesting to that. But, you know, when we have the legitits are smack in the middle and that is the focus, there is such a passionate pull that no one can get in your way or their way coming to you. I'm going to take the... The runes here, these are my antler runes whoop, that I fo have followed, fallen, that have fallen on the ground here. Let's see what they can say to us, crowning the reading. I have two more, I'll get them out. Okay, way up at the top, something has, has, oh, and what a beautiful rune that is. Gifu. The gifts, the, the, the communication, I'll leave that at the top. That's the ultimate crown. What else do we got here? What else do we got here? All right, it's not going to be easy. It is the beginning. We have Bjork Verkana on its back, pointing straight up, and this is the pull, the inevitable passionate dance that pulls people together and makes things happen is the focus of this reading. All right, Un unfortunately, we have Lagas, Lagus, uh, Merkstave. And when this comes out, Merkstave, it never is a positive message. It's telling you that it, it, it ain't going to be easy for you or the other person to find common ground and dance on the dance floor you two so decide. But Fedelta, over the Fidelity card, I've got Aljit's Merkstave. And there are no safety nets here, okay? You have to 
face the music. You have to go. You know, I'm talking in metaphors, but this is the best thing I can do. You have to really pull yourself from your, up from your bootstraps and face that person. There is no, there are no ifs, ands, or buts. Um, and what comes out of it is this otala, otal. This is the key to a, uh, a metaphorical home, coming home. No, this is you coming home. Of course, they are all intertwined. Over the, the, um, the letter here, I've got the litra communication, is Aiza, and Aiza is a distinguishing factor. It's a uh, characterizing factor. And my, my interpretation here is that the communication will be very, very particular with this person, and it is going to start molding the new relationship that you will see. Care, taking care. I have with the doctor, dottore, I have um, Uru's Merkstave. And again, you know, with Aljit's Merkstave, these two are telling me there's no if, ands, or buts. You go in and face the music. That is the only way you can reach both Otala, metaphorical home, and the lovely, lovely, lovely uh, Gifu. An exchange of lovely gifts. Love. <laughs> that's what it is. It's the gift of love that you can change if you're able to face the music. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen. It was a pleasure for me to offer you this December dance for the 8th and the 9th of December. I'll be back. Bye-bye.